Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 20th of April. Got some active weather up in northwest Alabama this morning. A line of storms still producing gusty winds, but they are slowly weakening with time. Nothing like the uh, line looked last night over Arkansas and uh, western Tennessee. Let's check out some of the Skycam shots this morning. First off, coming from Hamilton up in Marion County. Line of uh, strong storms passing through there about uh, 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning, producing winds in the 40 to 45 mile per hour bracket. Uh, there's the Jasper Sky Cam. The storm's almost into Jasper as I do this update about 5 o'clock. And from the Birmingham Metro, that's the Inverness Sky Cam up on top of the Wingate Inn overlooking Highway 280. There's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. You can see the uh, big line of storms all the way from uh, Michigan down into the deep south ahead of that trough. But notice how the better dynamics will be lifting way north of here today. But yeah, those storms still pack a pretty good punch. That's the radar at 5.06 this morning. And the Weather Service has gone ahead and put uh, severe thunderstorm warnings up uh, for parts of uh, Jefferson, Blunt, Tuscaloosa, Pickens County's head of that line. But again, the line is clearly weakening, but there's still some evidence of a bow-type echo there around uh, Smith Lake and Jasper. So it could be enough to knock down some trees and power lines, and I think that's probably a good call. But uh, by the time you watch this, those storms should just fizzle out greatly in coming hours. But again, that's kind of a rude wake-up call there at uh, 5 o'clock this morning for a lot of folks. Uh, there's the watch warning map, and we've got tornado watch areas north of here. A, a pretty big tornado watch from eastern Tennessee up through parts of uh, Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. And uh, there's our severe thunderstorm watch. That is technically until 9 a.m., but we all know it's not going to last that long as the storms weaken and uh, fizzle out. But later today, storms will likely redevelop. There is a slight risk of severe weather across much of the deep south, all the way from near College Station, Texas, to uh, Asheville, North Carolina, and it includes a pretty good chunk of Alabama, also a slight risk up on the upper Atlantic coast, and uh, this is nothing like last Friday. I mean, not in the same universe. Uh, low end, 15% probabilities, and that's mainly for us uh, gusty winds and some hail today. Uh, tomorrow, a risk of severe weather for the nation's midsection, parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. And on day three, which is Friday, got a risk of severe weather from near Wichita Falls, Texas, over to Louisville and Indianapolis. And again, within that area, there could be some fairly significant severe weather well to the northwest of here, uh, parts of Oklahoma and Missouri. And this ridge takes over for the Easter weekend, so uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here should be mostly dry. QPF chart, heaviest rain in that axis north of the ridge from Oklahoma City up to uh, Buffalo, New York. Five and a half inches, the bullseye, over central Illinois. And around here, the numbers vary greatly. You, you, you got northwest Alabama maybe, maybe getting two inches, and Dotha or Mobile getting nothing. And again, I do believe that indeed is correct. We'll look at the OZGFS. This is at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Notice how the westerlies are shifting north. Strong energy over the Great Lakes. And down below that, we've got this dying front in here. And that will be draped out around uh, Interstate 40 up in Tennessee and Arkansas. And again, with that thing nearby and the outflow from the storms this morning, we do expect redevelopment later today in this evening. And again, the main risk would be from uh, hail, as you'll see. Here's the instability for this evening at 7 o'clock. And uh, that's about 1,000 joules, which is not that much for late April. And the helicity values are just negligible. So tornadoes are very, very unlikely. If we have any issues, it would be from hail and strong winds. And again, even that's somewhat of a marginal threat. Same deal tomorrow. The front goes nowhere. It's stalled out. We've got that cold high over uh, Detroit and a warm ridge to the south. So again, we'll maintain the chance of scattered showers and storms tomorrow. It will not rain all day. Uh, and the better chance would come during the peak of the daytime heating process. And then Friday, that ridge really starts to flex its muscles. It, it takes over, shutting the westerlies up north. And, and Friday should be a, a dry day. And, of course, needless to say, a warm day. Throughout the uh, stretch here, the weather's going to be uh, quite warm with highs up in the uh, low and mid-80s each day. 
in a very warm Easter weekend coming up there Saturday. And again, the ridge is firmly over the deep south. And down below that, we are dry and warm. The uh, uh, GFS is showing 82. I think will be warmer than that. Uh, and Sunday, the same thing for Easter. And I guess in a very moist air mass, there might be a shower somewhere, but the chance of rain looks so small, I don't think we need to mention that. All right, now next week, we got to watch this new trough. This is Monday. This will be a little lower in latitude. Uh, down below that, we stay dry Monday and very warm and muggy. It would be just like June. Tuesday, look at that. Goodness, this. Uh, uh, here we are in mid to late April. That certainly represents the potential for a major severe weather problem there. A 988 millibar low on the Iowa-Minnesota border with thunderstorms out ahead of that in the warm sector. And then again, that's that could be a very significant severe weather outbreak uh, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, uh, that stuff moves in here. The low begins to fill a little bit, still very deep around the UP of Michigan. And of course, timing and mode of severe weather, it's too early to call. But uh, clearly, uh, late Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, severe weather is definitely on the board here. We'll check the end of the forecast on May 5th. The flow weakens upper low out west. The really strong winds will alter up in Canada, and uh, that looks very, very quiet. Now, May is still tornado season here, but typically things do begin to calm down a little bit after March and April. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.